walk me through the start of your journey versus and and then the timeline of how you got to Peru. Okay, so um, I started I think uh, at the end of August. I had only a month of traveling. I started in uh, Sucre, mm. um, where it was for like about two days, and then wow. and then I went to the Potosi and with the to the silver mines, um, see how they yeah, the people are working there, which is a bit yeah you know, we talked about it right. It's a bit controversial topic mm. as well because you're just looking at people that are like poor and probably will die soon as well. But on the other hand, it's also good. For me, it was really good to see the um, and the working conditions as well because it like, puts, puts things in perspective. Right. It was really good for me. Um, <clears throat> afterwards, I went to um, to Pisa, met up with some wow. other people, and did some horseback riding, which mm -hmm. is really cool. Never done that before. Um, yeah, that was a really nice experience. Uh, and then I um, did a tour with some Belgian guys and a uh, Malaysian girl and to uni to the salt flats and that was just amazing mm. and that was the point that I was like damn Bolivia is like so it's, it's just a beautiful country what, there. what were your expectations of Bolivia well I didn't have that money I just knew that it was a good time to travel to Bolivia I wanted to go to to visit a South American country and I wanted to do a bit of outdoors type of stuff so I thought like Bolivia is a good thing and the only thing I knew about Bolivia was uh, there's salt flats and there's death road and that's all I knew and just mm -hmm. went um, but like the, the landscapes just blew my mind the the mount the, the just the difference in the mountain sides the, the nature is just it's otherworldly to me right yeah I do love my uh, my trees I love the forest <laughs> um, so well, this this won't be a place for me to, to live in, but mm -hmm. to visit and to hike and to experience it was just, just amazing. Right. Yeah. And then where did you go after after Bolivia? You came to Cusco. Yeah. So first, um, so first I was from my uni. I went to the um, to La Paz, to the um, uh, the capital of, uh, of Bolivia, right. um, and did the um, mountain climbing, which was an, an amazing experience and mm -hmm. then uh, i went to the amazonia and then from the amazonia i came here it took about uh, 30 hours of traveling okay. to get to this yeah. tell, tell me that that process of traveling because i know it's a pretty pretty crazy you said you took bus boat train yeah yeah so i um i was in the and then pampas it's by it's yeah. like this swamp area in the, in the in the first parts of the amazonia and uh, first, I had to take a boat. It was about three hours. Then I had to take a drive back to the um, to a bigger city to take it. There was another three hours to just to take a, the bus, and then the bus was about 12, 13 hours to La Paz. And when I arrived in La Paz, I immediately went on a bus for four hours to Copacabana. I was there for six to seven hours, mm. and then I went in the bus at six o'clock in the evening took about two hours just to get across the border and then i arrived here at six in the morning with an hour difference so it was 13 hours of traveling right more. and then i was done right jeez that's that's travel for you yeah yeah so tell me about why you decided on south america because you're, you're from the netherlands you could have gone to europe you could have gone anywhere else why did you decide to travel south america um because i wanted to try wanted to learned Spanish as well and I wanted to see um, I really love I really love culture I just like speaking with 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 new and interesting people getting to know them getting to know their cultures how they live um, what they do in a day-to-day -day life and for me that's that's a big part of the fun as well besides just the like amazing types of hikes and and, and, and views you see Mm. It could have gone to Spain, but it's not the same. Right, right. Yeah. So I really wanted to like yeah, do more like biking style and just have a trolling. Right, and, right. And then doing it like that. I was talking to other travelers about like it's hard to understand like how you've grown and like what the benefit has been while you're traveling. Mm -hmm. It's like it's so much easier once you're back home and you realize uh, yeah. like how you've grown. Sure. But in in any how. 
in a way, how do you think you have grown so far that you can see during these travels? Um, well, I think the, the main thing is just open-mindedness, being able to just um, understand people better. Like you can't really always fully understand people because you don't have the same hardships as they have. I mean, you have different ones, but like just getting to know these, just getting to know the, the different types of, of cultures, religions and people just makes you more open-minded. And I feel like that con contributes a lot to my my person as well right. it contributes to my work mm -hmm. and just being able to like, I don't know, see the person behind and the, just right. what you're seeing. Yeah. So I like, I like, I, I really like that. And I don't know, it's more about mindfulness as well. I think you, you become more mindful of the things you're doing. You're more mindful of uh, the things you're, you're, you have and don't have. Mm -hmm. then, that for me gives me a lot of clarity and, and, and I call this like inner peace as well. Yeah, okay, yeah. right, right. Okay, last question What were your expectations coming in South America, just in terms of your experience, travel, what South American culture would be, would be like versus what reality is becoming? Um, well, I didn't have that many expectations because I wanted to be, I think that's that's like it comes back to the, the previous point that. If you have expectations, you're yeah, already more narrow-minded as well. And the bar is so high. Yeah. So right now, I feel like I was more open-minded to the experience due to not having that many expectations and thus being able to um, live it more fully as well. Mm -hmm. So that, But if I had any expectations, they were like... Way lower than the experience I have because really? the experience is amazing. Yeah, I, right. just, I just loved it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it sounds like your Bolivia experience yeah. blew any expectations, yeah. expectations yeah, that yeah, you had I out did. of the water. Yeah, I, I did. Like, nature is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love it. People are nice. They're beautiful. Right. So, yeah, it really blew my mind. Awesome.